welcome to my Jersey vlog. I'm by the sea. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Jersey. This is me in a few hours time from where you last just saw me. I tried filming this on the beach but it was really 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 windy and you couldn't hear anything I said. I am here in Jersey because when I was seven years old my mum bought me a book. She bought me this exact book in fact. This is My Family and Other Animals by Gerald Doyle and I've been on the record saying this is my favourite book of all time. And she bought it for me here in Jersey and um, more specifically here which is what's now called Durrell and used to be called Jersey Zoo and this book is all about the childhood of Gerald Durrell and he grew up to be a naturalist and a conservationist and founded Jersey Zoo which was renamed Durrell in his honour. What Durrell has now become is a conservation charity which is global in its reach and almost unmatched in its ambition and what it does is it saves species from extinction. I, you might remember that I actually made a Project for Awesome video about this a little while back and it just so happened that the people at Durrell saw this, got in contact with me and asked if I'd like to make some videos for them. So naturally I said yes, because this has been a childhood passion of mine. Ever since I've read this book I've been hooked on both the books that Gerald Durrell wrote and the message that the other books conveyed. So um, Durrell have very very kindly agreed to put me up in their hostel, which is where I am right now, and it's a chance for me to go behind the scenes and make some really, really exciting videos. But I'll let past Simon take over, where he is waxing lyrical about how St Brillard's Bay is his happy place. More specifically than the bay, just the bay though, this is my happy space. This is a restaurant that's actually called the Wayside Cafe, I think, but we used to come here every single time and we call it Hagrid's because the portion sizes here are just massive. See what I mean? And it's like our favourite restaurant in the entire world, so... Right now I am so happy. That's it, son. Warm those pasty legs. So I start filming at Durrell tomorrow. Um, I just arrived here. I didn't like land on the beach. Um, like an amphibious assault on the island. Uh, I just flew in, uh, but I've got this afternoon to basically go to all the places that I went when I was a kid. So St. Brillard's photo. I just had lunch, and um, there's a few things on this beach actually I wouldn't mind showing you. So I hope that you'll indulge me and just let you uh, take you on a wee tour. Oh god! Oh, oh, oh. I should probably say actually, thanks very much to Claudio on Twitter. No, sorry. Thanks very much to Claudio on Twitter. Who? <laughs> I can't do Jake's accent. I'm sorry, Jake. Um, but Claudio and Jake on Twitter recommended that I get a Canon G7X for vlogging purposes, which is what I'm shooting on right now. I've got to say, it's a pretty great recommendation. It's done everything I've asked of it. This is now going to be a workhorse in my shade in my camera fleet. So um, yeah, thank you very much Claudio and Jay, it was a really, really good recommendation. So one thing that you'll find if you travel uh, pretty much anywhere in the world is that fishermen are uniformly quite a God-fearing bunch of people. And you can kind of understand, you know, you're in this tiny craft on the sea, you're bashed around by forces completely beyond your comprehension, and it's nice to think or feel that you have somebody upstairs who's looking after you. And St. Brillard's is no different. So St. Brillard's used to be a really, really big fishing village. And so this behind me, is the Fisherman's Chapel. It's rather special because while there is a really nice, in fact really rather lovely parish church which dates back to at least the 13th century and it's got to be said it's actually probably the most peaceful chapel I've ever been in, there's something even more special just here. So this is the Fisherman's Chapel and while the parish church has existed for well since about the 1200s they think there's evidence that this building has been here for at least a thousand years and the most remarkable thing about it is these paintings behind me. So these were wall paintings which depict various scenes from the Bible that were completed in about the 1300s and they represent a really distinctive medieval style of art which you really rarely see in, in wall paintings like this and over time they've been worn away almost completely but you get this sense of what they would have looked like. I mean, admittedly, I'm not a religious person. Um, I've talked about this in videos before, but being here in this chapel, especially when I'm alone like this, this is, this is probably where I come closest to feeling a real connection to a higher being. Just a still, quiet place. 
resonating with history. I absolutely love this chapel. This is one of my favourite things about Jersey and this bay. So I hope you don't mind me taking you here. I'm very sorry to disappoint any of you who expect to see me in a skimpy two-piece bikini because while I would love to sunbathe for a bit, I am going to have to go to Durrell and make sure that everything's set up ready for filming tomorrow. So sorry if that's what you're expecting, but life's full of disappointments. So in case you didn't know, Josie's famous for its ice cream. Come on, I mean, if you're here, you're going you're gonna to do it. Bollocks to the diet. So while I'm sat here waiting for a bus, I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about what I am doing here. I'm sorry, by the way, if I keep looking up, like here, that's because there's a screen. Um, and I'm not used to being able to see myself in the viewfinder. Um, so I'm working with Durrell to put the spotlight on three of their projects. Um, we're gonna be looking at their work with Livingston Fruit Bats, which are these huge, great big bats, some of the biggest in the world, with wings bats about five feet. And basically putting a spotlight on their habitat in Durrell, which is a really amazing polytunnel, um, and there are a lot of them are pregnant at the moment. So hopefully we're going to, if we're really lucky, be able to get a pregnant uh, a birth on camera, which would be a world first apparently. So we're putting a focus on that. Second project is we are looking at tamarins. So tamarins are these little tiny monkeys which come from South America, from Brazil, and Daryl is might be unique in the world uh, because they actually allow their tamarins, at least some of them, to roam free in the park. It's a it's a wooded park, and you get gangs of tamarins just just trolling around. So um, I'm going to spend a day chasing them, which will be really really fun. Uh, and then lastly, they are currently working on a conservation project with. The So those are the three projects which I'm going to be making videos for for their channel. In addition to those videos, there's going to be these travel vlogs and there's also going to be uh, some vlogs on my channel where we're going to be answering some questions and just throwing the spotlight really on what on what they're doing uh, at Durrell because for, for Durrell's YouTube channel that's going to be videos which detail the work they do for their stakeholders, for people that donate. Whereas the videos for my channel I want to basically showcase what Durrell do and try and get new people involved with them rather than um, reassuring current uh, donut donors that their funds are being well used. So I really really hope you enjoy the videos coming out of this. There's going to be a lot I think. So stay tuned. So I'm currently just in St Helio which is the island capital for a bus transfer. I love it here. I love this place. I love this weather. I love this video work. Everything's coming out of house. <laughs> And we're here. So I've arrived here in the hostel. Um, I've got a really nice room right at the very top. With a, I don't know why I'm showing you around. Um, this is going to be my base of operations for the next few days. This hostel, I stayed here once before, is so cool. So um, in down in the kitchen, for example, they have posters about why vegetarianism is great for the environment, which is why I'm vegetarian. Um, they have. Uh, an entire scientific library downstairs. They actually have a room which is full of biological and zoological journals. They have a lounge, kitchen, uh, and all the rooms are named after ex animals which were forced to extinction by mankind. So there's there's there's, there's constant subtext, uh, constant background of why this place exists. It's incredibly peaceful here. It kind of feels like it's almost a little bit. Um, not Howard's End like, but it almost just feels like very so tranquil. It's 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 like Elysium or something like that. Not 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 like the typical notion of heaven, but like somewhere where you're at rest and it and it just embodies everything that you like. Although admittedly, I'm currently filming this out of window and I don't have any curtains, so I'm anticipating that I'm going to be woken up tomorrow morning by Gibbons. That sentence is so weird. Because he was an extra in Game of Thrones, it turns out. So the wife of one of my childhood heroes just came in and asked how my filming was going. 